It's confirmed the market is shifting with a total home sales plunge in Miami. Hey, Sharon Colon, your favorite Miami real estate agent with Home Miami Realtors. The Miami housing market is indeed shifting according to the latest release data from the Miami Association of Realtors and the MLS. Let's get into the latest Miami housing market update. July 2022 total home sales outperformed pre-pandemic numbers and here are some interesting headlines from different sources. Last month we had a total home sales of 2,375 from 3,632 in July 2021, a 34.6% decrease and when we compare 2022 numbers with prior 2020 let's say July from 2016 to 2019 the average Ju July total home sales was 2325 and that's where we're seeing the Miami market shifting from a total crazy market to prior 2020 times market 34.6 percent decrease is a huge number in Miami the Miami chairman of the board Fernando Arencivia Jr. say after two plus years of record-breaking Miami real estate sales the market market is shifting to be more in line with historical norms. We expect to see an uptick in inventory hit the market and demand for Miami real estate remained as strong as ever. I recently did a video talking about different things experts are predicting that they're seeing happening for the majority of the markets nationwide. So you can watch it here. Did you know that Miami came out number one of the US metro where home buyers want to relocate? Well, yes, a recent red finale highlighted Miami as a place home buyers want to relocate is that the reason why we still have a strong buyers demand even with the jump in interest rates what do you think let me know your thoughts below single-family home sales decreased 27.2% from 1,373 in 2021 to 999 in July 2022 but that's not the case for the single-family homes median price which increased 10.7% year-over-year from $515,000 to $570,000 in July 2022 but decreased once again from June with $579,000, a 1.6% decrease. We're seeing less houses sold, a median price decrease month over month. And the reason behind this is the lack of inventory, but also because of the rapid increase of the mortgage rates, which as far as August 18th, 2022, the rate was at 5.13% higher than last year, but actually the rates dropped because inflation appears to be beyond its peak. So far from what I'm seeing from the latest data, the new pending sales decrease, which will probably continue to see the decrease of sales for next month and the median percent of original list price is starting to change too. This is also another indicator that the market is cooling down, like sellers are starting to see not full price offers. So you as a seller need to come up with a great strategy to sell your property because here's another one. Month supply of inventory continues to increase. In July 2022, month supply of inventory increased to 3.1 months from 2.8 in June. My friend, the balanced market is coming very soon, favoring neither buyer nor seller. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to be notified with my latest videos. The median time to contract increased once again this month to 17 days for the second time in a row, another indicator of the shift in market and not so good for the sellers. So indeed, that theme from the sellers of putting their profit properties way above the market value is not working anymore. Let's face it. And as far as the new listings, new listing decreased 1.6% from 1,666 in July 2021 to 1,639 in July 2022, which is still not enough for the buyer's demand we have in South Florida. Now let's move forward with the townhouse and condo data. Miami's existing condo sales decreased 39.1% year over year from 2,259 in July 2021 to 1,376 in July 2022. The median sales price for condos increased 11.8% year over year from $340,000 to $380,000 and decreased by 7.3% from June with $410,000 for the second time in a row. A huge decrease here. Now the median time to contract in July decreased to 20 days and month supply of inventory for condos decreased 32.7% from last year to 3.3 months. But this is actually the third month in a row with more inventory. June had 2.9 and 
an increase of 13.8% month over month. So visible changes in both the single family houses market and in the condo and townhomes market too. We still have low supply, a seller's market with a high buyer's demand, meaning we're going to continue to see higher prices. Let's face it, local demand remains fueled by major companies such as hedge fund and securities firms like Citadel moving to South Florida from Chicago, the return of international buyers and so many more. We're seeing how the rental market has been too. The rents are rising strongly. This is also causing higher prices, right? So however, we're indeed in a transition market, a shifting market. There's so many indicators right now in our market, like price reductions, like negotiations and properties taking longer. We're now seeing empty or just few people assisting to open houses, a decrease in cash buyers in so many other things that were not happening before. Of course, this will depend on our variety in the location and you know the area, the price point too, but we're definitely seeing major changes in our Miami housing market. Even though we're seeing all of these house appreciation is still very high and properties will continue to appreciate, which is good. But affordability for some has been a major problem with the increase in mortgage rates. But remember, higher rates will eventually lead to a moderation of the growth rate of pricing. And later on, we should see a price correction, not a crash though. What are you seeing in the South Florida housing market? Are you witnessing all of this? Drop a comment below, let me know. What are you seeing and where do you think we're heading? Share on your local Miami realtor, download your free guides below and hey, remember to be nice and be kind. See you next time, bye-bye.